I'm so excited that you're here again for another VIP variety show. I'm Jordan, head honcho over at System Save Me and the head coach over at Done in a Day. And this show is really where I get to show off all of my amazing, brilliant clients <laughs> and get to give you guys ideas and inspiration around VIP days because you know, uh, in our world and by our, I mean like really my world, like we see VIP days all the time. Right. But they really are not that common. They aren't that present. And so bringing this show to you guys allows you to see across a variety of industries, a variety of niches, different target markets, who and um, what businesses are great for VIP days. So today's guest is a copywriter extraordinaire, and she is going to be sharing with us. She has three different VIP day options, but we're going to focus on one. And fun fact, she pre-sold a VIP day at the virtual conference, which is super fun. And I love, I'm like, listen, I'm here for the money. I'm here for the sales. I don't get when like people are weirded out when their like own community buys from their own community. I'm like, dude, like we know each other. We love each other. Why would we not want to buy things from each other? So I'm all here for it. Um, and that's what the virtual conference is for and our community and our program as well. So I'm going to bring Miss Jennifer on up. So hello, Miss Jennifer. <laughs> How are you? I'm so sorry for the weird wave. <laughs> I'm here for the beauty pageant. Like, we're here for it. Um, so go ahead and tell the good people of the internet a little bit about you and your business. Okay. Um, I Hi. Hello, Jennifer. Um, I started Untamed Creative I, June, June, February 3rd. June. I'm just right there. It's fresh. Um, anyways, so uh, yeah, February. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, I, I was working as a copywriter, like as an employee. And I was like, man, I feel like I could help so many more people, <laughs> you know, if I was doing my own thing. Um, I also have a toddler. So I was like, I'd like to be in her life a little bit more and yada, yada, you know, the story. So yeah, it's very um, magical <laughs> what happened since that time. Um, and then I went to yeah, the virtual conference in March and things have been spiraling since then, but like a good spiral. Um, so yeah, I'm just super excited, uh, to talk about everything that you've done for me, even though you may not even know. Um, yeah. yeah. So let's get after it. I'm really excited. Awesome. I love it. So when you were a copywriter outside of your business, what were you writing copy about? Like what's your background? Yeah, I was writing, um, for a systems coach. So, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of blog content, a lot of, um, launch sequence, like emails, sales pages, uh, a website, you know, all, all the, things. pretty much all the things, Facebook, um, captions, things like that. Yeah. So kind of anything that was uh, content related needed to be written, um, and launch related. So yeah, I was just kind of doing all the things. I don't do all the things now because you told me not to <laughs> basically. <laughs> right. So yeah. So now I pretty much only do, um, email sequences, websites, sales pages. I will write blog content, um, but we have to get to know each other first, you know, like yeah. you, gotta, you gotta buy me dinner. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I love the idea of focusing on three core services because it yeah. takes the weight off of me. Like unbelievably, <laughs> it's so yeah. good. And I'm someone who gets like decision fatigue and I will just, look at a to-do list and I'm like, oh, I can't do anything. Right. So it's so yeah. nice to just have three options and move on with my life. So, um, and I found too, that it really helps for, uh, clients too. They're like, well, what do you do? I'm like, I do these, <laughs> you know, right. instead of like an overwhelming list, it's very yeah, helpful for, for everyone sure. involved. I know. It's like when I, when I start to hear people who do have a lot of things, I like physically see like a scroll, like them just like dropping a scroll and reading off yeah. of it. And it just like, <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, you know, it's just like, okay, like, you know, get it a little bit more concise so that we can know and say yes a lot quicker. Because the longer you talk, the more, less likely I will say yes to something because I don't even remember all the things, right? So then with that, um, who was it that you were serving? So what um, types of clients um, were you working with previously? Was it just a systems type arena? Or was it then... Um, just like coaches and consultants in general, who is it that you were helping with like all of the things? 
uh, yeah, I worked with a, so the, my employer <clears throat> was a systems coach for, uh, like people in finance, like accountants, bookkeepers, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, I was writing a lot about bookkeeping, um, which <laughs> I, in another life, uh, I was a QuickBooks pro advisor, <laughs> so that's random, oh, gosh, but, um, so yeah, so it kind of all tied in, yeah. but, uh, I realized like, oh, again, I could serve so many more people because I realized that the craft of like writing copy isn't just saying stuff like it, it's strategic. And so yes. um, once I figured out that I was actually really good at that and I really liked it, I was like, yeah, I want to help more people because in like be more diverse in what I'm talking about because I get bored <laughs> easily. So it's really fun now that I get to write for like, all kinds of different um, industries. It's yeah. yeah, it really helps my brain not get stuck in like a burnout type of a cycle. So um, yeah, did that answer your question? <laughs> yeah, oh, totally. Yeah. I, well, first of all, I think it's so interesting that like you were a quick pro, quick book pro advisor, and yeah. then you end up like writing for that like same niche. Like, is that also who you help with VIP days? I'm guessing like Yes, no, maybe so. Like, not really. With bookkeepers? Well, yeah, like bookkeepers or, are people in like the finance world. Yeah, well, I've helped. Um, I don't have a specific, yeah. like, I don't only work with, but I have. <laughs> yeah. um, that was the first, yeah, that was the first one that I sold um, because I, at the variety, sh or at the, what is it? The conference. conference. Yeah. Yes, I was talking about it, like, in a hot seat with you. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, I work, I've written for some bookkeepers, you know, and, um, and then someone reached out to me and was like, oh, can you write for me? And I was like, wait, what? I don't even have a, I don't even have a VIP day. Like, I don't even have it ready. Um, I had literally learned about it the day before the fact that that was even a thing. <laughs> so yeah. So, and, and that worked out great because I was just very transparent. I was like, Hey, I'm going to do this. Not really sure what I'm doing. Um, but it worked out great because it gave me the opportunity to, um, test the, th test my theory, you know, and, um, and then she got a very good sales page out of it. So, you know, it's like, it, it helps to talk about what you do out loud. I know. Like, <laughs> Amazing. Right? I know. So then was that what you were like, was the sales page VIP day, the VIP day you were planning to do, or because that's just like what she was drawn to when we were hot seating at the conference, that was just like, okay, well, that's the first one I'm going to build. Or what were you thinking before she came along and decided like, you know, I want this from you. I was thinking, is this even going to work for me? I, I mean, like I said, the day before um, I joined the conference because I had been like creeping on you on Instagram and stuff. And I was like, okay, this seems cool, but like, I don't want it work for me. And you know, a lot of, um, copywriters that I admire, <clears throat> they don't do VIP days. They have more like, um, they'll work with like one or two clients at a time, but over a span of a month or whatever it is, depending on the thing. And so it's like a very time consuming situation. And I was like, I just don't know if that would work. Um, like, could I even write something that fast? Mm -hmm. But what I learned, well, okay. So then I'm like, okay, I think I could do it. I just have to be more structured than how I am now. And that's kind of the secret <laughs> because <laughs> I am a very like, Oh, what's this over here? Like, you know, I'm, that's just how I am. And I thought like, Oh, that just, that, that could never work. But I also yeah. am a hyper fixation personality mm -hmm. because if I mm -hmm. find something that I'm like interested in, I'm like, this is all I can think about. Like, yeah. You know, so, um, so when I was at the conference, I'm like, okay, I think this could work. I just have to figure out how, and I signed up for a done in a day, <laughs> like the day, I think the first official day of the conference I signed up, I was like, I just, I felt, I don't know yeah. when things are meant for you, they come to you. So that's kind of how I'm going to operate. Like, yeah. And so I, I signed up and I was like, okay, well now Jennifer, you're committed to it. You have to figure it out. 
and then, yeah. And then, um, I had, you know, someone reach out and be like, Hey, I want this thing. And I'm like, okay. So to answer your original question, um, I didn't know mm-hmm. what this service was that I was going to do. I just knew I was going to do something. And then it, it um, I think, oh yeah, I think also in that hot seat with you, we were talking about like what would make sense yep. for the type of service that I do. And we were just like, well, start simple. It's a sales page, bam, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I just, ran I just <laughs> ran with it because I mean, again, I fixated on it and I'm like, well, that's what I'm doing. And as soon as I did one, I was like, okay, so we're going to do that more. It's like a potato chip. Like when you do one, you're like, okay, I can't have just, this is the, this can't be the only one. Yeah. So it's, it's really fun to learn what you can do in a, a however much time you give yourself. Um, but it's really fun to do. And every time I've done one after that, I've gotten better at it. Yeah. And the thing that freaked me out about doing VIP days, especially for copywriting, was will the quality be lost when the time is constrained? Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. And I <laughs> learned uh, that is not an issue if you do your prep. Like, I mean, I just spend a few... I don't know, one or two hours ahead of time um, before the day, just prepping and -hmm. like getting my life together. And it's just really nice to know, like, I don't have anything else to worry about on that day. All I have to do is just get in that, like that offers mindset and I'm just in it. Yeah. It's so, it's such a relief. Yeah, that's so good to hear. And I think too, I remember us talking in the hot seat about like, again, once you write the sales page, kind of like the website and emails are so much easier. And so it was like, okay, that makes sense for it to be kind of the first one you like dip your toe into because then there's opportunities for you to then sell to that same person, a website or emails or whatever the case is, because you've already written the sales page, which is really great. Exactly. And that's how I think that is how we landed on that being the thing, like the entry point is if you have an offer and you have a website already, but you're not like jazzed about it, like who cares? Because they need somewhere to give you money (laughs) first. So like, just make it super easy for somebody to give you money and like the rest can come in time and you know, whenever it feels better. So um, yeah. And so I think that it's just a very natural, like low barrier of entry. Here's, here's, something to start with. And then we get to know, do you like the way that I write in your voice? Do you um, like the VIP day model? Do you know, it's like, it's a very uh, low risk trial run situation. I love it. I'm obsessed. (laughs) I'm also somebody who gets fixated and has an obsession personality. I'm like, I don't have an addictive personality. I have an obsessive personality. Yeah. Um, (laughs) My obsession with puzzles, my obsession with VIP days, like it's all the same. Um, And so with that too, I like that you pointed out about prep work and like making sure the quality didn't go down because Mm -hmm. you have a really, um, I guess, heavy um, focus on really great voice of the customer data. For people who may not have heard what voice of the customer data is, um, I would love for you to just share with people like what it is, why it's important to have and how that helps to fuel your copy, like to be great. Yeah. Um, Again, I'm obsessed. (laughs) It is so important. Um, So AKA VOC data. Um, So when you're using the language of your literal customers, like people that you've worked with before, Um, and you ask them specific questions about their experience, like pretty much what you're doing with me now, like, what were you doing before Mm -hmm. you worked with me? Were you, what were you afraid of? And, uh, how did your life change? And then whatever they say is how you can help describe what you offer to people who are still on the fence or like, you know, maybe haven't heard of you. So I love, love, love using surveys, testimonials, um, 
data like that to mm -hmm. figure out what needs to be said um, in the copy. And if you don't have customers for that offer yet, it's okay because you can um, talk to anybody that you've worked with just to get an idea of like how it is working with you. Um, because often there's like a mirror in the transformations that you offer in like other services. Um, but also if not, that's okay. It's just, it's something to keep and you can always tweak later. Like the more you do the service or the offer, like the more you can go back and be like, oh, you know what? I hear a lot of people saying this, I'm going to switch out this word, you know, whatever. So, um, so you can use that data to like sprinkle throughout um, how do your clients describe themselves? How do they describe what you do for them? Yep. How do they describe, you know, what they want, <laughs> their desires and goals, like things like that. You can get super specific and you can make people when they're reading your sales page, you can make them go, Oh my God, she wrote this for me. Like this is, yep. this is clearly for me. It's a no brainer. So, um, I have in my pre-work, um, for my sales mm -hmm. or for any VIP day client, um, there's a survey that I asked them to send out to their uh, previous clients. And oh, that's awesome. I just go through, <laughs> I just go through all the responses and I put it in a very sexy spreadsheet and uh, you get to keep it. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's really cool. Like, and I also have um, testimonial questions. Mm -hmm. So not all testimonials are created equal. So a lot of times like I'll go through, you know, I'll go through testimonials from, uh, that already existed. Uh -huh. And, um, some, I mean, it's great to have like, Oh, this person was so great to work with. Like I, I would recommend them to everybody, whoever it is. Um, that's great. And I love to see those of course, but the best, best, best type of trans um of testimonial shows the transformation so it's like i used to do this then i tried this now i do this and right. so yeah so we have questions in there to kind of guide that kind of response um and if you did if you never ask people mm -hmm. like they'll never tell you i mean they might there's okay there's occasionally <laughs> the people who are like, oh my God, you know, right. but most of the time um, they're like, oh, this is great. And then they move on with their lives. So, you know, it's really helpful to ask. And um, yeah, it just helps to make everything super specific, which yeah. is, yeah, like you can't get too granular <laughs> in how you're speaking about your thing, whatever it is. Yeah, I totally agree. And I love the example of your pre-work having your clients actually send a survey that then you can get you know the data from so then you eliminate this objection that some people may have like i've never sent a survey it's like well we're gonna send one like don't you worry about it <laughs> like come on in and like it's, it's just such a it's a brilliant way to get you what you need right to be successful and also to overcome an objection that people may have in a sales situation if you're like hey you know we need this data and someone doesn't have the data you're able to get that and still like move forward with them as a client, which I think is just chef's kisses. Yeah. Um, so uh, then with that, let's talk about your first VIP day. Um, how are you feeling before? Um, how did the day go? Like, how, let's uh, just kind of go down memory lane. Okay. <laughs> um, it was okay. Before I was obviously nervous because I was like, am I going to get this done in the day? Right. Um, but I had, like I said, I had spent some time ahead of time mm -hmm. working on um, putting everything in the, in the database. So like all the survey responses, all the testimonials, you know, coming through, I color code it. Like it's all, it looks like one of those crazy, like <laughs> murder mystery things. Like, um, red yeah. Red with the string. Arm. So yeah. like that's, that's on my end, that's how it feels, but um, it's, all done the day before. So that was great. Um, and then I just, when the day happened, I just, you know, sat down, I started doing all the, all the stuff. And I had a structure, like I had a pretty, pretty specific structure of how I wanted each like section to go, but, uh, it wasn't as it's better now, basically. Um, so like after that, right. after I did that day, I was like, okay, now I know how I can make it even more, um, 
not not templatey, but like more uh, structured so that it's, yeah. I have to think less about like, what, what do I put here? Uh, right. Or like, what do I want it to look like? Yep. So yeah, I mean, I, I was writing, I gave myself a deadline <laughs> of I think five. And so I was like to the minute, I was like, yeah, you know? <laughs> and, um, and I also had a plan to create like a PDF with like all these links and like a Google. So I was doing, I had planned to do too much pretty much. And so I did, I did it. I sent it off. Um, and then we get on a feedback call after I really like to do feedback live because, right. um, there's almost nothing scarier than like comments on a Google doc where you're just like, seeing them pop up and you're like, Oh my God. So, and I mean, those, <laughs> it's fine to put them, but I like to talk about them in real life. Mm -hmm. Um, and so we, yeah, so we got on the call. Um, Amazing. and I overall, like for the first time, I think it mm -hmm. went great. Um, I really, I think too, that I got really lucky because, um, the client was just so she gets it right. Yes. She's also in done in a day. So, um, she was like, it's all good. Um, we're, we're building the plane, you know? Um, yeah. but also like, she's just a, just a genuinely beautiful person. Like I just was so excited to, um, be able to work with her. So anyways, yeah. I learned a lot from that day. I got great feedback, like positive and negative from her about like how I yeah. can improve it the next time. Um, yeah. so yeah, every time after that, I've just been able to build on that and make it more efficient. Yep. which isn't something I do normally. <laughs> like I'm not an efficient person, <laughs> but this um, structure, like the way that the program is structured for me makes a lot of sense because now I can be like, okay, do right. that. Now I can kind of trim away some of the things that don't need to be there um, yep. or plan better in the future. Yeah. So yep. um, yeah, so it was, it was overall a very positive experience, um, clearly, because I mean, I'm still doing it. <laughs> still doing it. Whoa, time's up. Okay. <laughs> no, that's all good. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. And I think, too, you know, it's, I like that, again, even your post VIP day support is tailored around how you want to get feedback. Like, yeah. If you don't like getting Google comments, don't do Google <laughs> comments. Like, make it so that it's like, beneficial to you and also beneficial to the client. Right. And I think, um, you've done a really good job of like, again, building the plane as, as you're, as you're doing it. And the first VIP day usually is not going to be your best VIP day. And so most people have this like really high expectation of their first one. And I'm like, yes, we want it to be great. We want it to be, you know, beneficial and, you know, the transformation to happen. And like, this is an opportunity for feedback and you should want and expect feedback on that first one, because every person is going to give you more and more opportunity to get better and better. And so uh, I love that you are open to that. And that's like already built into, you know, your day and, and all of that, because I think it's, it's really big. And it sounds like, it was such a great VIP day. Uh, and so with that, um, you know, was there, the, once you did the sales page one and then you wanted to add the other two um, mm -hmm. and whatnot, was it, did you have to do a lot of restructuring of your framework or was it, um, was it minimal because you did the first one and you kind of like got a good lay of the land? Yeah, the framework is, is the same. Um, the only thing that's different is the questions I have to ask, um, before. So there's like a, you know, there's a pre-work questionnaire for all of them. Mm -hmm. Um, and it, the only thing that's really different is that because I need to know more information if I'm doing a whole website or, you know, if I'm, if I'm talking about more than one service or like talking about your team or whatever it is, I need yeah. more information. Um, and then for emails, that's a lot more like story based. So I need to know more stuff about like your life <laughs> yeah. and I need to know all, the, all your secrets. Um, but it's, it's very similar. Um, and my framework is also very simple because I don't see a need to make it more complicated. I mean, I basically just, what is it? Collect, create, celebrate. And it rhymes. Um, <laughs> but 
I just collect the information that I need, um, the VOC, the market research, like whatever it is that needs to happen. Uh, I write the thing and then we are best friends after. So that's really, it's very easy. <laughs> It's a beautiful framework. I enjoy it thoroughly. I like, I'm, I'm here for the simple. I am totally here for the simple. I think people do like want to have like nine phases and I'm like, okay, no, 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 no. Like, let's calm it down. Uh, let's bring it in. Cause the, the VIP days thrive in simplicity. Like you really have to, and you also mentioned this too, um, think about like, what is the best parts that your client are going to really appreciate. And it's funny because anytime that I think I know what my clients are going to appreciate, they always surprise me. And it's, I never guess it correctly. Like somehow I just like, you know, I'm like, oh my gosh, they're going to like love this thing that we're adding into the program. And they're like, oh, I love that you use Google Docs for homework. And I'm like, seriously, like why? Um, you know, it's like... <laughs> And it's fine, right? But then you know, like, what they value. I mean, that was a simple example. But um, but then that way you aren't working on this other thing over here tirelessly that, like, is cool, but, like, is not going to actually add to the day and, like, yeah. help them get to the transformation. It's just something you maybe are overcompensating or feeling like you have to have because that's how what everybody else does, which we see as well. It's like, nah, like, do it your way and do it the way that, it's going to get your clients the most bang for your buck. And I don't know if you felt that way with copywriting, right? Because there are a lot of copywriters. Did you feel like, how am I going to differentiate myself? How am I going to, like, did you feel ever pulled to like do things the typical way? Um, Cause you're in an industry where um, uh, they're usually called day rates, um, but VIP days are semi more known than other industries because people talk about the day rate model a lot. Yeah. I, I didn't know that that was a thing, but again, I was kind of, um, sheltered. It, like I was an employee and I was just right. doing my thing, you know? So I didn't really know that much about the outside world. I did, um, I did have, well, I still do have like a mentor, you know, person, but she doesn't do this type of thing. And so I was like, okay, I need to do like, I did do what she does. Right. And basically like I would have been, if I didn't start doing this, I would have been writing like blog content on retainer forever, oh, wow. probably, wow. which is great for somebody um, else. Like I know plenty of people who do that yeah. and that's what they enjoy. Um, right. It's not what I enjoy. So mm -hmm. I, I, again, I like to sprinkle, I like to keep it spicy. <laughs> um, so I like to do different things and I just, that's what I knew how to do. So I wouldn't, I wasn't really thinking about like how to make a more sustainable business model. Cause I didn't really know what the options were. Um, and thinking back on that, that seems a little silly because the whole reason I went out on my own was to be able to like control my time. And, totally. uh, yeah. And so it just, this makes so much more sense and it's, like I said, it's just really fun. Like I like a challenge yeah. of like, okay, I give myself, you know, this deadline of when this has to be done. Um, and also someone's keeping me accountable because they paid me. Um, so, <laughs> so like, that's really, really helpful and it makes it more enjoyable for me. Yep. Um, and I don't know. I'm just like, now that I, to answer your question, I didn't know it was a thing. Um, but once I started researching it, I'm like, okay, people do this. Like copywriters do this. So I did, I felt less scared. No. <laughs> um, and I also was comparing like what they offer, what they include in the day. You know, I, there's a lot and there, yeah. it's diverse. There's really? There's people who um, let you pick like from a laundry list of stuff, what they do in the VIP day. And then there's people who are like, no, this is what you get. So um, yeah, I thought that that was really interesting and it, it put me at ease quite a bit because I was like, okay. oh, I can just do whatever I want. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. And it's like, you know, you worry. I, I don't know if I, I'm, I'm sure I'm not the only one who does this, but like I worry like, okay, but if I don't offer like, this option someone isn't gonna like I, no one will ever 
want to work with me. And it's like, oh, but the the right one won't care. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, it's it's just the people who were meant for you will be like, yeah, this is what I want. And right. it works out. And also someone could offer the exact same thing as me and not want to work with them. Uh, a client could not want to work with them just because they, they don't get along. Like their energy isn't a fit, like whatever. Perfect. So I, I'm, I'm much more in this community too. The done in a day community has really, um, like shown a light on this for me, but mm -hmm. I am so much more interested in like investing in community and like people investing in like a community of relationships than I am thinking like, Oh no, she's doing this. Like they're going to go over there and hire her instead. Like, so what, <laughs> you know? Um, yeah. So I think that this community really does a good job of like supporting each other instead of being like, Oh, I have a competition, like, you know, it's mm -hmm. just, that's not serving anybody. Yeah. Right. Like I just, yeah, I have no, like, I get there is competition. However, I also believe like literally, first of all, there's so many people who need help with copy. It's like <laughs> overwhelming. Um, and I say that to systems people, I mean, literally like what people are doing, there's so many people that need help. Like you can't possibly think that you alone as a solo person are going to cover and be able to like, handle all of that right yes yeah, so, why would you want to <laughs> right you wouldn't want to. the, it's, the yeah. opposite of what we're trying to do we're trying to get your time back not add more time to your you know to your workplace so with that being said i would love to end on this question of basically you prior to vip days mm -hmm. um there probably are people out there that are similar to you what would you suggest that they think about or um what would you say would help them to know if a vip day is right for them or not or something that they should try mm. i well i love the idea because i did this for myself i love the idea of hiring yourself so mm. if you have an idea for a vip day of whatever it is that you do yeah. um you know have your partner be your client, you know, or like, um, or be your own client. Like if, so like I had to write a sales page for the sales page VIP day. Right. Um, so I was like, all right, you know, I did all my little pre-work. I did, um, uh, set a day that I was going to do it. I went through the whole process. Um, it worked out great. You know, it helped me. Um, it's not, the same as getting outside feedback, but it's, I mean, it at least helps to prove the concept of like, can I even do this? Right. Um, so yes, it's an investment of time to, to do that, but I think that it helps, um, peace of mind, especially like it's really helpful. Um, that would be my biggest, yeah. Piece of advice of like, if you have an idea, just try it, <laughs> you know, like know. you can't, just build a plane and like fly it with people in it right away, you right. know, try yeah. it, try it on something else first. So, um, mm -hmm. I felt like that was a huge help for me. Um, mm -hmm. and also just like talk about it, just yeah. say like to whoever your audience, like, Hey, what if I did this? <laughs> what would you guys think? Cool. You know, like, I think that there's, this is going to sound so dumb there's some huge power in uh, talking about what you offer because people are listening. People are always listening. Holy cannoli. It's that, I mean, again, it sounds so simple and yet so many people don't do it like yeah. vast majority. And, you know, I think that you're really just missing out on the impact that you could be having. Like it really, like, you know, I get that there's, you know, the fear of the naysayers or even the judgment of your family members or all of the things that, you know, come with that. But the benefits way outweigh the cost for me, way outweigh the cost. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's a lot better than keeping it a secret. And again, like every time you get a yes or like every time somebody trusts you and it's such a confidence builder. And then now, mm -hmm. like if we had had this conversation few months ago, I wouldn't, I would be having a full, like 
panic attack right now. Aww. I wouldn't be able to talk about it because I wouldn't have the confidence that I do now in doing the thing that we're talking about. So, um, yeah, it's just like, you just have to, you just got to ask for the sale. I mean, it's not weird. Just be like, Hey, I have this thing. You want it? <laughs> That's all it is. <laughs> I love it. Bring it back to the simplicity. So thank you so much, yeah. Jennifer, for coming on and sharing all of your goodness and about your services and VIP day. And I will definitely uh, share your Instagram, Facebook, all the things for people to go and check you out and connect with you. And for everyone watching, thank you so much for coming to another Tuesday VIP variety show. And we'll see you next week with another VIP day showcase. Bye y'all. <laughs>